okay. Off the road is better than in traffic. Oh, oh shit. It's in the road. I think somebody ran it over. Fuck. Somebody must have ran it over. All right. We're going to try a speed run. GPS is at 12 miles an hour. Starting a new run. Tracking. Signal lost. Signal lost? What do you mean signal loss? I'm not even that far away. way off the road oh man anyway I just couldn't see what I was doing All right, guys, let's see how fast we went. We hit full throttle. These are the slower batteries, though. I want to see how hot it is. Man, those Lucid RC fans are struggling. <laughs> Not that hot at all. Let's unplug those things. Jeez, those are loud. Woo, 146 on the new GPS. That's what I like to see. 148, woo. The tires look kind of beat up. All right, guys, we're going for a PB. We just got 140 something. And now we got the speed batteries in. Only zero out the GPS, zero miles an hour. Start, make sure it's tracking, yep. Oh God, there's a car going. Oh God, we shot off the road. That's okay. Off the road is better than in traffic. Woo! That has to be a PB, boys. I hope somebody brought the J because we just got a PB, I guarantee it. Signal lost. Signal lost? Don't tell me that. I'm not sure. Maybe around here. Oh shit! It's in the road. I think I hit the throttle. Oh god. Did it get hit by a car? What happened?
I think somebody ran it over. Fuck. Somebody must have ran it over. No. Somebody had to have run it over. Damn it. I think I set down the controller and it hit the throttle. No. Damn it, somebody ran it over. My GoPro is messed up. Oh man. Everything's messed up. This isn't good. I can't believe somebody ran it over. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I had to hit the throttle in the car. 152 on that one. 154, we tied our PB. Dang it, my wing is destroyed. I can't believe that happened. This is disappointing, guys. This is so disappointing. And another bearing exploded. Ow, that drive shaft is hot. <laughs> Ow, that motor is hot. 175, damn. That's really upsetting, guys. I can't believe I ran it off the road. All right, guys, I'm gonna test it out real quick. Make sure all electronics are okay. Pretty sure just the ass end got ran over. Make sure the ESC and everything's good. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I unplugged it. I'm thinking we just need a new back end. Hopefully. Hopefully the SD card in that destroyed GoPro got the footage. Oh, my back diff must have been destroyed or something. Well, the electronics work, so that's good. All right, guys, it's been a couple weeks since my car got ran over. Um, I think I'm finally ready to talk about it. I've been crying myself to sleep every night, you know, just super depressed about the whole thing, but I think I'm finally ready to talk about it and then we can finally start fixing it. Um, so what happened that day is I had my perfect run. I tried turning around and I went off the road. I was so far down the road, I could barely see it. I hit the throttle too hard, went off the road. But I laid the controller down. I whipped the car around. Um, it ended up sliding on the seat and hanging the throttle. That made it shoot back onto the road. And that made it get run over, I guess. Um, you could tell it was under throttle. I mean, look at this tire, man. It's just completely rounded off, burn off. Like it was just doing donuts in the road, probably. When it got ran over, I think it was under throttle because up here you could see my Scorch RC titanium drive shaft is completely missing it's broken off i don't know if you could see it's broken off on the inside of my hub so that's lost but it would have been broken anyways but when i spin the other side it doesn't even spin the center drive shaft so i'm guessing the diff locker got broken the diff locker spool got broken and then if you look back here on the back the same thing um you can see the drive cup is completely bent so and it doesn't spin on both sides like this side's locked up like it should be this side's not so i'm guessing that one's broken as well i'm hoping the gears are okay inside if the gears are not okay i heard the infraction gear ratio is set up for higher speeds so i'll just buy infraction gears and put those in the diffs hopefully it makes it go faster 
but guys i'm ready to cry again after i check the data i've never had my my esc this hot look at this so i have my cutoff at 180 degrees thank god it cut off at 180 degrees when i was driving my car down to get my rc you could hear my remote it said lost connection that means it shut off at 180 degrees um i'm so happy i have that on because it probably my motor probably got up to 200 degrees the motor gets a little bit hotter than the esc i'm hoping everything's okay hopefully it didn't get too hot but that's the most i have ever had it for heat and look at that 22 horsepower on that little motor so we got all the parts we started getting all the parts one thing i gotta say is the owner of scorched rc super nice guy out in the uk scorched parts i love their parts i got so many of their parts you know i got all this carbon fiber parts he saw a picture of my car he saw i'm missing one side of this um he went online and made it so i was able to get just the one side i need at a discounted price super nice guy like i'm super excited you can see this part's still a little bit messed up, but I think we could save it. Um, if we bend these screws back, we could probably get all this lined back up. We'll have to put the stock. Um, we'll have to put the stock plastic braces back on, but we'll still have the carbon fiber wing, which is good. Uh, what other parts we got? Oh, so the GoPro is completely destroyed. Um, luckily, a week before this happened, I got a GoPro Pro subscription. So they're actually replacing this for about $80, um, no questions asked, which is good for me. Uh, the battery looks pretty puffed up on both sides. It got smashed. I'm not sure if I'm ready to use it. The $50 case, uh, it got shattered out. Front case, back's pretty messed up. Um, we started getting parts. We got the rear diffuser because this is all messed up. We got the rear shock tower. You can see that's all bent. All the shocks are bent. So we got rear shocks, new rear shocks. Um, we got new rear hub carriers. I'm not even gonna chance using the old ones. Uh, I'm basically putting all new parts onto the back. These are all um, parts for the wing, all stabilizer mechanisms for the wing. So we got basically all the parts we need. Uh, back to the drive shaft, since I'm missing a drive shaft, uh, I'm kind of broke right now, guys, starting this YouTube channel. We're going to all these RCs and building this room, but I got the stock drive shafts we could put in there for now, and we could at least start testing and make sure that it's still running okay. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to save up and get some more Scorch RC drive shafts. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,